Well, you can move with all your furniture or you can just sell it. Coffee table got sold, TV stand got sold, couch got sold a while back. And this is what happens when you give a dog a stuffed animal. They make it look like World War III happened in your living room. So it's Monday. I had a physics test this morning, which felt unusually good, uh, but I've said that before. Thursday morning, I'll leave town for Lakeland first and then Tampa. Sent all my professors an email, letting them know, giving them proof that I'll be gone. None of them have emailed me back, so I guess they're cool with it or they haven't read it. And then the Monday that I get back, I'll have a linear algebra test and then Wednesday I'll have calculus test. Oh my God. But I'll get back Saturday evening and then Sunday afternoon I'm studying with my peers, my classmates, for my calculus test. And I already got my practice linear algebra test and it looks like this. Which looks pretty ugly to anyone, but it's not too bad. It's well, what I always find kind of annoying about these YouTube channels, I won't name names, but some of the YouTube channels will show like example exams or tests from like really, especially hard classes and like upper level or graduate classes. And it makes me think of this stupid thing that my math professor said, which is, it sounds stupid, but it's true. And that is, it's not hard if you know how to do it. That's why it's like, well, you can make anything look hard. I mean, sixth grade algebra looks hard to a caveman. Linear algebra might look hard to a high schooler. Quantum mechanics might look hard to a freshman. That's all relative. It doesn't, all that stuff is just clickbait, basically, in my opinion. But anyhow, I feel pretty good about the linear algebra test. It's, I feel better as I start to prepare for it than I have for previous ones. Uh, I couldn't tell you why that is but I'm gonna try and devote a large amount of time tonight through Wednesday night. I wanna try and find a way to study somehow on the way to South Florida, cause that's gonna be like a seven hour drive, seven and a half, eight, depending on how fast I drive and how many stops I take. I'm thinking about just making a voice recording and just, uh, cause there's a lot of stuff I have to memorize for this, well, all tests really, but this one as well. Thinking about making a voice recording and then playing it back to myself while I drive. It might be annoying and redundant. I don't know how I feel about it, but it can't hurt, right? So it's gonna be a long couple of weeks. Uh, our friend came into town, like I said. We had a lot of fun, drank entirely too much. I had probably one of the worst hangovers I've ever had. It was terrible. Basically it took me an entire day to get over. Friday night we went out. I slept basically all day Saturday and had no problems going to bed Saturday night to sleep through the night. But finals are impending. I have one more test in each class, I think. One or two more. One more in physics, I think two more in my math classes. That sounds right. And then it'll be finals and I don't know, I'm already I'm already wigging out over finals, especially in math. Logic will be easy, that'll probably be my only A this semester, but it happens. There's just a little here, a little there, studying, packing, trying to figure out what we can live without for the next couple weeks, packing things more and more things up, you know, the the closer we get to it and hopefully between all of our families lugging a little bit of our stuff back we won't have a whole lot to move i mean our biggest thing will probably be our dresser and our bed i'm not i'm not taking my desk because it's a 40 dollars walmart piece of crap and it's already irrepar irreparably broken despite me only ever sitting at it i haven't stood on it haven't thrown it out a window i don't know what its deal is but it's just a piece of the fun's over and it's uh time to buckle down i guess so I guess I'll hop to it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.